Hey friend, welcome to Self Transformed, a podcast redefining self-care through simple fitness, nutrition, and mindset habits. I'm your host, Emily Nichols, certified personal trainer, Whole30 coach, and Taco Tuesday enthusiast. (laughs) Hey, I know the struggle is real when it comes to taking care of you. I too am a busy working mom who felt physically and emotionally drained until I took action on my own transformation journey. I finally found the solutions to feeling confident and living a healthy lifestyle that doesn't feel hard and now I'm on a mission to equip you with sustainable tools to help transform your life from the inside out, guilt free. Together, we will simplify your health and fitness into daily habits that don't feel like another thing on your long to-do list, but daily actions that light you up instead. So if you're ready to redefine self-care and step into your own self-transformation, then let's do this. Hey gang, welcome back to Self Transform. Here is a little sneak peek of day one of Confidence Booster Boot Camp. This is a free three day workshop I'm doing within my free Facebook community. You can come join us over there as well. I host monthly mini workshops. I'm hosting a little bigger one this week though because I've been hearing a lot about confidence struggles within my community and my Self Transform You clients. And plus, I also just launched Self Transform You. The course. So we're celebrating that over there with a giveaway during the workshop and some discount codes as well. So just go to bit.ly slash self transformed fam, F A M, to join the free community. And like I said, make sure to go to self transform you, the letter you.com, so you can learn more about my signature six week transformation program, Self Transform You, the course. My girls just went through Self Transform You Live and they helped me essentially create this course for you with their feedback. If you're ready for simple and fun workouts, an easy three-step food freedom plan, and the best part is mindset and habit coaching to make this work in your life and not make it feel like another thing on your to-do list, but an unconscious habit that you do every day joyfully, then this is it. If you're tired of stopping and starting, stopping and starting like I was years ago, then make sure you go to selftransformyou.com. And hey, you can use the code word CONFIDENCE all caps at checkout to get 50 bucks off. So, but enjoy day one of Confidence Booster Boot Camp. We are talking all about talking nicer to yourself. That's something we could all use a little more help on. I know I for, for sure can as well. So take a listen and I'll see you tomorrow for day two of Confidence Booster Boot Camp. Okay, we're in business now. See, I have too many tabs open. Too many tabs open in my head and in my life. It's okay. All right, cool. We're good now. Well, so today is day one of Confidence Booster Boot Camp. I won't take up too much of your time over the next two days, but I will be going live every day at 9 a.m. Eastern. Okay. If you can't watch this live, you know, you're at work, you're doing all the things with the kids. No worries. You can always catch the replay. As I mentioned on the show this week and posting here throughout the group, I will be doing a giveaway for my new Self Transform You course. So my girls just went through Self Transform You Live. I'll give you some more details about that, but I'll be giving you little hints and clues throughout um, today and the next couple of days of when to comment. And when you comment, even if you do it during the replay, I'm gonna do a drawing at the end of the week from the comments on these three live videos to gift you Self Transform You, the course. But today we're talking about confidence. This is what we're talking about over the next couple of days. And this was really inspired by my own personal experiences and myself transform you live girls. So the agenda over the next couple of days, today we're gonna be talking about how to talk nicer to yourself, how to talk nicer to yourself. Tomorrow we're gonna talk talk about eating and moving like you love yourself. And then Thursday we're going to unlearn all the things from our past to really curate the most confident life you were meant to live. Doesn't that sound good? That sounds good to me. So the outcome that I want you to take away with you after these couple of days of Confidence Booster Boot Camp is for you to leave with simple tools you can start implementing now. Now being the key word, just don't listen to this and be like, okay, that was nice. I want you to start taking action now in order to become more confident and really see how that will impact not only your life, 
but the lives around, but those of the lives around you. You got this girl, you got this. I know life is busy and it gets in the way to take care of yourself. And that leads to not feeling very confident in yourself in all reality. So I get it. I'm busy. I may have a kid come in here with his underwear on. I may have a dog barking. There may be a toilet flushing because the bathroom's right next to me as well. This is real life. So what I'm talking about here is just my own shared experiences. And I want you to take away that this is just part of life. Okay. You can put yourself first to feel more confident. We'll share all of this over the next couple of days. But hello, I'm Emily. If we haven't met formally yet. I'm so glad you're here. Thanks for um, for coming over to our free Facebook community. You'll find a lot of other similar busy working mamas over here just doing life. And you'll find I'm sharing in this free community, free um, resources as far as workshops like this. You can go to the guide section. I have a ton of different worksheets from previous podcast episodes and obviously a lot of funny memes because memes give me life. So If you're listening to this on the replay on the podcast, you can come over to self transform um, bit.ly slash self transformed fam to join our group and continue the discussion over there. Okay. So a little bit about me. I'm the host of the self transformed podcast. If we haven't (laughs) already established that. So pretty much what I do on the show is I help busy working moms redefine what self-care looks like, okay? There's a big misconception about what self-care really is. It's not just the fluffy stuff. It's the hard things you do every day to take care of yourself, and that's really hard. But I'm helping redefine self-care through simple fitness, nutrition, and mindset habits. Habits being the key word there. That is the secret sauce to what I teach in my programs and what anyone needs as far as like the secret sauce, say the cherry on top, the guacamole or sour cream on top of the taco in order to see full transformation in your life. You got to make it work in your life. You know, you can do any type of workout plan or nutrition plan, but it's not going to work if you're not putting um, this into your schedule to make it work and make it simple, not to make it feel like just another thing on your to-do list, right? Make it joyful. Um, I'm a certified personal trainer. I coach out of Orange Theory and Avon and I do virtual workouts, obviously, within my self-transformed community and self-transform you. I'm a Whole30 certified coach, behavior change specialist, which just means I geek out on habits. I'm a wife, boy mom, and Taco Tuesday enthusiast all day long, all day long. So, and excuse the sniffles, allergies, Indiana, y'all know. So, am I confident? Am I confident? Am I always confident? The answer is no, not always. No, not always. So I've been on my own transformation journey since 2015, and I still find myself struggling to, not as much, but still dealing with low self-confidence. I have to undo years of talking not very nice to myself. And I see the same trends with the clients I work with, and I know these tips will help you like they've helped me and like they helped my girls through self-transform you. I know a lot of them, when they came in, it was confidence was the thing that held them back from starting the program. They were like, I don't know. I'm just, you know, I always start something and never finish anything. You know, I, I'm just not, you know, I'm not fit enough already. You know, I'll, I'll fail the diet plan, which PS, there's not a diet plan on this, um, on self transform you, but it really came down to confidence and that's a habit you have to build over time. So just a reminder again. Um, This is one of the opportunities where you can comment right here. Comment what makes you feel confident. What makes you feel confident? Comment right here in the comments right now. That's one of your entries and to win a spot in Self Transform You. For me, what makes me feel confident is moving my body, eating healthy, and spending time and prayer and doing things that I love with my family and friends, usually outdoors, usually a taco and margarita in hand. Okay. <laughs> so comment below what makes you feel confident with self transform you the course it's officially launched and it's here to help you change your life. So like I said, make sure you're commenting when I leave these little nuggets like this for you throughout our presentation over today in the next couple of days, I'll draw one person to win 
um, Self Transform You, the course, but also you can go to Self Transform You, the letter U.com right now. And if you want to enroll in the program, you can use the code CONFIDENCE, all caps, at checkout and you get $50 off. Okay. So just that quick little plug. Let's get into how to talk nicer to yourself. Okay. Let's talk about it. So, why aren't we very nice to ourselves? We are lacking self-compassion. We are lacking this habit of having self-compassion for ourselves. You know, everything that we tell ourselves sometimes, you don't realize it, it's actually a habit. The more and more negative self-talk you have over time, it's, it, it's a habit you build up and you have to learn how to replace that, okay? So think of it this way. So we feel compassion for others. We feel kindness towards them, empathy, and a desire to help reduce their suffering, right? There goes the dogs barking, real life. It's the same when you're compassionate toward yourself. That's what self-compassion is, being nice to yourself, being empathetic to yourself. Self-compassion creates a caring space within you that is free of judgment. It's a place that sees your hurt and your failures and, failures and softens them to allow those experiences to come through with kindness and caring for yourself. That is self-compassion. And yet, with all the wonderful things that come along with being kind to ourselves, we find it hard to actually feel it. It's hard to feel self-compassion. We can feel compassion and talk nice and you know build up anyone else in our lives. When it comes to ourselves, we are not very nice to ourselves. Why? The number one I hear from my clients and what I have felt before in the past too, it feels selfish. It feels selfish to be empathetic to ourselves. Girl, it is not selfish to be kind to yourself, to be like, I got this. I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling great. Some people think to feel confident, it's cocky. No, to feel confident is having an inner light in you to feel your best. Okay, so let's get into the tools. So how do we practice self-compassion? Okay, it all starts with your mindset. So today we're focused on mindset as far as our tools. Okay, and I'm actually going to give you homework. Okay, I'm actually going to give you homework. This is something I do within Self Transform You in order to help my girls take action. So I thought I'm going to give you all homework during Confidence Booster Boot Camp. Why not? We're giving you a big confidence boost. Woo, just boosting you right up like a rocket. Okay, so a few tools to help you to be more compassionate for yourself. Self-compassion, which leads to confidence. So stop comparing. Number one, right out the gate, stop comparing yourself. No one has their stuff together. No matter who's posted on social media that they look like they have the most perfect life, their kids are well-behaved. I mean, my dog's barking in the background and my kid's out there just like in his underwear. Like, <laughs> I don't got my stuff together. My coffee's cold. I'm going to have to rewarm it probably a couple of times too. Okay. So stop comparing yourself. Nobody has their life together. Nobody does. If there are folks that are triggering you online to be like, oh, I wish I was more like her. I wish I was a mom like her. Or, you know, I wish I was a career woman like her. Don't follow them anymore. Unfollow. Unfollow. Or um, um, they you can silence it or whatever. Um, that way you so see you don't see your, the, their posts if you don't want them to know you unfollow them, okay? Stop comparing. That just leads you to feeling not very confident in yourself, okay? Number two, set boundaries. Say no. That's a habit you have to practice over time. When you feel that empowerment to say no and set boundaries in your life, whether it be with family, work, your kids, your spouse, that makes you feel confident. That gives you ownership of your life and helps you to feel more confident. Comment below if setting boundaries is hard for you. Put a little um, hand raised mo emoji up there. Put a little hand raised emoji. It could be the little person. It could just be like the actual hand. If setting boundaries and saying no is hard for you. I get it. It's hard. It's something you have to practice over time. And, you know, a lot of times when we say no, we have to, we feel like we have to give 20,000 different excuses. Why? You can say no. You can say why. Say no, thank you. Thank you for thinking of me. I'm not able to commit to that right now. I wouldn't be able to give 100% to myself to this project or whatever. No one's going to be mad at you. No one's going to be mad at you. If you keep saying yes and overextending yourself, then you're not going to be able to give yourself 100%. 
to the projects that you're wanting to do, the people that you love? And wouldn't you rather give 100% coming from a place of overflow? So you have to say no, you have to set boundaries. Number three, set small goals for small wins that compound over time. A lot of times we get so caught up when we're wanting to feel more confident and we're setting goals for ourselves. And I'm like, I am going to run a marathon. Actually, I would never run a marathon. Rewind. <laughs> I would never run a marathon. Like, record this. It's recorded. Okay, I will never run a marathon. Let's say you're going to run a half marathon. I'll run one of those all day long. And I'm going to go out and do it tomorrow, but I've never trained. That's not going to do anything. But if you train over time, have small little wins over time, you're putting in the work, putting in the reps, the small little training mo moments over time, where you are able to build up endurance to meet your goal. Okay, so set some small goals and small wins that compound over time. It could be as simple as I want to get 10,000 steps a day. Okay, well, we all have these nice little watches on our wrists now that help us track our steps. So do something small like that. Okay, and watch how that compounds over time. It almost has a snowball effect in your life. We've talked about that on the show a couple of times the past couple of weeks. Journal. This is one of the best tools to help you feel more com confident and be a little more compassionate for yourself. Journal and come up with a mantra to replace the negative talks, the negative talk in your life. So when you are saying, I'm not, I'm not smart enough to do blah, blah, blah. Already, if there's something that is on repeat in your head as far as negative self-talk, write down a mantra that you can say, put it on a post-it note, glue it to your forehead on your car dashboard, on your bathroom mirror, wherever. So when that comes up, you replace it with a new habit of a positive mantra instead of positive self-talk, okay? Also, list out your strengths. There's nothing wrong with that. And this is really hard. I've had clients do this before. I want, I want you to sit down and write what you're grateful for about yourself. What are 10 things you love about yourself? That is such a hard exercise, you guys. It is such a hard exercise because we are not used to talking so nice to ourselves. However, just like any other habit, the more you do it, the more you're going to start believing it, okay? And then don't should yourself. You don't like to be shoulded by anyone else, right? Like if your mom kept telling you, oh, um, you know, you should be drinking water, so much water a day. You should be doing this. You should be doing that. How does that make you feel? You're like, well, I don't want to do that. That doesn't really sound like you're coming from a place of compassion, right? We do that to ourselves. I really should work out. I should really, you know, eat healthier. I really should blah, 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 blah. Stop shooting yourself. It doesn't feel nice when it comes from someone else to you. So it doesn't feel nice when you talk to yourself that way. Instead, just like with that negative self-talk, replace it with something positive. So say, I should work out. Be like, I want to work out. I'm going to schedule on my calendar and go do this or that. Okay? It doesn't even have to be working out. It even could even be just like, I should talk nicer to myself. Actually start doing it. Start talking nicer to yourself. Okay? And this last one, if you kind of talk, take this as a bonus tip. I've learned this from a, um, my friend Jamie McLaughlin from um, the Unfiltered Motherhood podcast. Get ready. Like, get yourself together most days. So this has been hard over 2020, right? We were spending most of our days in sweats and dry shampoo and not getting ready. And I get it. There's some days I coach at Orange Theory. I work, 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 work all day. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's one o'clock and I haven't showered yet. <laughs> That's okay. That might be TMI. But get ready. It makes you feel better just to put yourself together and feel good. Even if you're just getting back into like your nice pair of sweat, you know, your nice sweats, your nice leggings, you know what I'm talking about. Get ready. It helps you feel more confident versus feeling like bleh. Now, that may sound vain, but it really does help. And I always think about going back to when my kids were born. So when my oldest son Dylan was born when um, 13 years ago, um, gosh, that makes me feel old. But when he was born 13 years ago, I was like, my husband would get home and he'd be like, oh, you didn't shower yet today. And I'm like, dude, I didn't even brush my teeth. Like I did nothing. I had breast milk all over me. I stunk. Like I was still wearing my pajamas from like the past three days. And then when my second son Tyler was born nine years ago, I had to get up and take Dylan to daycare after so many weeks after my maternity leave. Um, and I started getting myself ready. I would just take like literally 20 minutes shower. I would put mascara on because I'm blonde and 
my eyelashes disappear unless I have extensions on or whatever, just to make myself feel good and brush my hair and be good to go for the day. And I felt so much more confident and I felt so much more productive and I felt so much more confident. Okay. So you see how that works. So Take a screenshot of these tools if you're watching this, you know, take a picture on your phone. I hope you're taking notes if you're re-listening to this on the podcast, but confidence is a habit you just have to keep practicing, folks. And these tools that I just gave you are a really great way to start changing your mindset and building this new habit. So your homework, your homework is to journal and come up with a mantra to replace negative self-talk. What is on repeat in your head that you keep telling yourself that isn't very nice? List your strengths. And just see any other thoughts or emotions that flow out of you. I want you to do this tonight so you're ready to come back tomorrow with how you did. Okay? So give me a heck yes in the comments if you are going to do your homework. Okay? Give me a heck yes. This is another drawing into self-transform you. So the reason I'm having you do this homework and having you actually write it out is you are three times more likely to reach a goal if you write it down. My self-transform you live girls can tell you, I probably drilled this in their heads about a dozen, maybe more times because they use a workbook tracker that I give them to help them along the way and with their homework. Write it down. You're three times more likely versus just having it loosey-goosey in your head. So to finish up, let me tell you a little bit more about self-transform you, the course. So my girls just went through the first live version of self-transform you live. This is something I'll be doing three times a year, but in between you can still purchase self-transform you the course and do it on your own. And I'm now enrolling for that. So you'll still have me as your virtual accountability coach. There's some options to have some one-on-one time and calls available as well. That's what you need. But sometimes people just need the resources and you're able to go along with it. So it's a six-week program. It's my signature program to help you break up with diet culture. Bye-bye. There's simple and fun workouts included and a bunch of different mindset and habit tricks and hacks and strategies to make this stick in your life. Like I said before, you can do any type of workout or nutrition plan. But if it doesn't fit in your life, you're not going to make it work. That's why we've started and stopped something so many times. And, you know, like, like I've said before, I know what it feels like to feel like you have no time to get healthy and fit. You feel self-conscious in your own skin. You've tried the newest diet, but you've fallen off the wagon again. You feel frustrated and you just want to find something where you're able to still have tacos and margaritas, have a joyful fitness routine. And have it all fit in your schedule and help you just feel your best from the inside out mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, and just make it stick for the long haul. You know, have a set self-care routine to help you when life gets hard and gets in the way. So as far as like what's included within Self Transform You, the course, you get six weeks of workouts created by me. I'm a certified personal trainer. Um, Options are provided. So they're all fitness levels. Doesn't matter where you're coming from. Um, It's mostly weight training and HIIT training. Okay. And it's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. And obviously some bonus self-care training in there as well and habit training. Um, I have my food freedom method to really help you break up with diet culture and start enjoying food food again, guilt-free. We don't do diets. We do a food, my three-step food freedom program and habit and mindset coaching. That is where it is that we talk about how to find time losing the guilt. I want this to be a transformation from the inside out that sticks for you for good. And like I said, there's a workbook slash tracker to help you stay on track, to help you start taking action along your journey. And these are all things you'll do one week at a time. I'm not going to throw all this at you at once because that's too overwhelming. When we have too much at once, too much change at once, it's like, "Ah, I'm not going to do it all. So we slowly week by week add on new levels and layers to what you're doing until at the end, you have this beautiful curated new self-care routine that's going to stick. So I wanted to read one of um, my client testimonials, um, Felice, who just went through the program. She said, I'm back to doing my daily gratitude, much more mindful of how I'm eating. And I lost some weight while establishing habits in my life that I'll take with me on my journey. So I love that. It's all about small, tiny, little new healthy habits that have a big, massive impact over time. Okay. Six weeks is a really great starting point, but that's not the finish line. That's just the start of your journey, girl. So I love this quote from Oprah. She said, it is confidence in our bodies, minds, and spirits that allows us to keep looking for new adventures. 
And that's what transformation is all about. That's what an inside out transformation is. It's seeking new adventures and taking care of your body, mind, soul, spirit in order just to live your best confident life. Okay, so tomorrow we're going to talk about how to eat and move like you love yourself. Okay, eat and move like you love yourself. Taking it one step deeper. Today we focused on talking nicer to ourselves and that mindset. We're going to take it another step further. So you can go to self transform you, the letter you.com. You can use the code confidence to get $50 off right now, or you can. Um, wait and see if you win an entry into a free um, spot and self transform you the course. The reason I call this self transform you, I give you the tools. You have the power. And I love this quote from Glenda, the good witch from Wizard of Oz. She said, you've always had the power, my dear. You just had to learn it for yourself. So I'll help you learn it and find it. Find that power within you to have your own self transformation. Okay, so thank you all so much for attending today. Um, like I said, I'll be going through the comments each day and doing a big drawing to see who wins a spot within Self Transform You. Tomorrow, we'll dig a little bit deeper into boosting your confidence and eating and moving like you love yourself. So let's make sure to stay connected. You can follow me on Instagram at Emily Nichols Tutu and, of course, listen to Self Transform for further motivation and inspiration. So sending you all lots of love. Thanks for hanging out for Confidence Booster Bootcamp. If you have any questions about Self Transform You, send me a message. I am here to chat all day long and even have um, more testimonials coming to you over the next couple of days so you can learn a little bit more if this program is a good fit for you or not. So sending you all lots of love. I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Hey girl, real quick before you go, if you love today's show and know your girlfriends need to hear this message too, then grab a screenshot, post it to your Instagram stories and tag me at Emily Nichols Tutu because the more mamas out there hearing this message, the more empowered we'll all feel to take care of ourselves so we can pour from a full cup. Or the number one way you can thank me for this podcast is to leave a rating and review in iTunes. That way, more mamas will find the show here too. Love you and appreciate you, girlfriends. See you next time.